Welcome back, Officers of the Republic. It's your course on Underworld Police, Black, Wife Beater, P. Gaines. Um, public service announcement. I am having so much fun. Now, I know that's not a very popular opinion to have right now. Um, and it's it's not because of any recent change or anything to the game. Like, it's not, oh my god, AP Gaines is having fun with Datacrons, or AP Gaines is having fun with whatever new monetization scheme that pops up, or... You know, AP Gains is having a ton of fun gambling with the packs and stuff like that. No, no I, we like to make our own fun here. Um, and I'm not going to lie to you. <coughs> the profundity might be the greatest thing that was ever invented. Um, now, luckily, I already had JML by the time that they announced the first the requirements for the very first time. And we got an unprecedentedly long time from when they announced the full requirements to when the character and the ship or the ship rather was in game right i didn't have them day one obviously but i had so many of the requirements already done and so many hoarded resources because i had just finished jml um and i was kind of planning what i was going to do next um before they announced the profundity officially i was either like hey i'm going to save for you know whatever this ship that's coming or i was going to get star killer or i was going to you know whatever it was that i was going to do i just had the resources available and it was it was a great it was lightning struck perfectly for me and i know a lot of you guys who are thinking about or actively farming the profundity um, are not going to be in a similar position where you can have it without spending exorbitant amounts of money very early on but i do want to tell you guys because i mean i think it's obvious to anyone who's been watching any footage but not only does this ship give you immense fleet arena and also um Nice, 69. Oh, you can't see my faces in the way, but we're at 69% uh, charge. Not only does it give you, you know, guaranteed first every single day in Fleet Arena, give you immense GAC viability and all sorts of other coolio dulio stuff like that, but it quite literally is incredibly fun. Like, I play more than I need to in the Fleet Arena simply because it is fun. And I feel like a lot of the game has not really been in that you know in that space recently I, I think we forget that this is a hero collector game and technically the fun of it is supposed to be in the hero collecting now i know the hero collecting takes freaking forever oh my god look princess leia go bye bye okay bye bye um and i know a lot of people kind of just play this game for gac because you know say what you will about capital games i think a chess match like system of grand arena you know, say what you will about money based money based matchmaking, all that sort of stuff, and how skill is not super involved anymore. But um it is a great idea. But I just want to tell you guys that like there still exists areas in the game and characters and ships and stuff like that where you can have fun on your own. You know, you don't gotta worry about the data crons or the conquest or the this, the that, the jabas, the others. And so the purpose of this video is not necessarily to talk about how awesome the profundity is and tell you that you should farm it. You know, if you're in a relatively reasonable position to farm the profundity, it's a great thing to sell me something. Oh, they actually didn't try to sell me something there. But really the point that I want to hammer home before I leave you with a couple of uh, important words to stay tuned for um, is we have our three currencies. You guys all know we have our time, we have our money, we have our will to live, right? Most people only consider time and money when factoring how you play the game. But let's be honest, Will to Live does play an important role in how this game is played. If you're not actually having fun with the characters, the teams, the ships, the the mods, the data crowns, whatever it is that you are working hard um, to push through, like what's the purpose of you know red boxing conquest if you don't either enjoy having the GAC viability of a conquest or that specific character, or some people actually enjoy conquest itself as my computer decides to just absolutely shit the bed right now. But I just want to remind you guys that as much as Capital Games is an atrociously inhumane company and they suck, there is still ways for you guys to have fun in this game. And a lot of people that I've talked to have been like, hey, AP Games, I'm just not feeling it. You know, I've lost, I've lost my reason to play. And I'm like, I can appreciate that. Maybe it's time. Maybe we take a step back in competitiveness as my game continues to kill itself. Maybe we take a step back in competitiveness and we take a step forward in fun, right? So I'm going to challenge all of you guys out there who are not necessarily having a ton of fun in the game at the moment. Do me a favor. Think of something wild, something wacky, something that might not lead to better GAC viability, right? Something that you haven't 
ever thought of before, but you think it would be kind of fun. You know, maybe a relic cup. Maybe you go for a fleet you never thought about. Maybe you start a new free-to-play account that does the most atrociously bad BAM rush ever, right? We saw accounts Ross reviewing the other day. You know, Mandalorians only, Bounty Hunters only, Jedi only, Sith only. Like, do something where you can kind of take back that fun and disallow capital games to have control over, you know, your emotional state while you play this game. That's all I'm saying. Um, it's not impossible. I'm doing it right now with the profundity. You can do it with whatever it is that makes you happy and increases your will to live. But um, I can tell you for a fact that Blue Stacks drastically decreases my will to live. That's for damn sure. Uh, really quickly before we go, um, as you guys know, I don't want to be poor forever. So I did get a new job uh, recently. Uh, I've been training for about six months, started recently. I'm a financial advisor. If any of you guys are interested in having a meeting for sole purposes of helping me um, book meetings <laughs> and nothing else, uh, fill this out for me real quick. If you live in California, that would be awesome. All right. I love you and I will see you later if I can find the end recording button.